can't feel that. So I've just um, had a filling done or replaced down at the bottom. Am I talking funny? Do I look funny? I can't, you know. I literally cannot feel that lip at all. It feels like it's, yeah, not a nice feeling. Um, so while I, that's so weird. So while I'm down here, I'm gonna go and get some um, rays, even though the sun's out today. Um, I, can't, I feel like I can't talk to you guys uh, I'm going to go and hit a sunbed get some tanning on because um, I'm feeling really pale at the moment and just why not summer's coming um, and I want to be ready for it <laughs> so um, I think what I'm going to do though because my legs are like so pale and obviously come competitions I'm going to have to shave them and they're going to look odd so I'm gonna get some a bit of oil on them bad boys, I think, when I go in the old the old town of beds. It's the weirdest thing ever. Uh, feels like it looks funny. Feels funny. Can't talk. So moving into my leg workout then guys. Just took you through a few of the exercises. This is just the warm up. I always warm up with the bar. It's all about mobility. Um, do a few sets on the bar. I think we've done three of these. A couple of pauses at the bottom. Just really open up the hips. And on these light sets, you want to think about the muscles that you're trying to contract. So I'm really focusing on pushing my knees out, sitting back into it, and squeezing my glutes, keeping my core nice and tight on these lighter sets. Moved up to 60k. Um, keeping within the rep range that I wanted to try. So Starting to go a bit heavier on the squats, my knee's been playing up a little bit, um, and what I tend to do is warm up with the belt from 80k onwards, but um, after obviously hitting the sunbed, I could feel the belt rubbing, um, and it was just, that was causing me more pain than um, than anything else really, than, it got, it was more hindrance than anything, so um, here was a couple of reps with the belt on for 100, but um, I went back and done it without the belt and it felt a lot better um, but I didn't go any heavier than this because again I just I just don't want to injure myself moving forward into the rest of this year with the competing um, that I want to do so I tried something slightly different on here this is a combination of leg press with like the Lee Priest typical sort of um, hack squat the way he tends to do the hack squat which is keeping your feet um, closer together heels together toes out and then pushing your knees out now ten ten like on the hack squat you tend to go up onto your toes um, but with the leg press I just limited the range of motion so um, you can still bring your knees right up to your chest but you don't have to then go up onto your toes and, and you can lift a bit heavier on this so and I actually really felt this one on the outer sweep of my quad um, quite enjoyed doing this one so this is probably something that I include in my workout a lot more um, reason I keep looking to the right guys as a mirror so I'm just focusing on keeping my back and my bum in that seat and not lifting my hips out whilst trying to get the most range of motion as possible. Something new again, stiff legged deads. I do enjoy doing these, I just don't enjoy the feeling the day or two days after. This definitely is the one that leaves me with the most doms but um, it's also the one that's going to help improve both my deadlift and my squat. Decided to do these with dumbbells um, gives you a slightly better range of motion in terms of not having a bar in front of you you can um, manipulate the dumbbells a little bit more so I've only shown you one set but we did do four of these then moved on to a quad isolation exercise so the leg extension now this is I've got a love-hate relationship with this again because it is an exercise that puts the most strain and stress on your knees um, but at the same time it's one of the best exercises to isolate them quads so I'll either start off with these really light to pre-exhaust the quads to get them fired up before moving into more compound lifts or I'll finish off them again really light so that um, 
because my quads are obviously already tired so really focus on the contraction I don't fully extend um, because again like this just puts too much strain through the knee so this is a new favorite of mine the leg curl I've been doing this for a while I don't I just don't get on with the seated leg curl machines I feel like my shins are gonna snap um, so the lion leg curls definitely feels a lot more comfortable this um, this one in particular you get to put your hips up a little bit higher so um, it doesn't put so much strain through your back keeping um, don't let the legs straighten too much because obviously you're going to put a lot of um, stress through your knees if you uh, straighten the legs right out so keeping attention on the hamstrings then moving out to good old calves calf raises with the calves guys it's a weak point for ev almost everybody um, especially for myself and I do do calves almost every day whether it's soleus seated calf raises standing calf raises donkey calf raises I would do them in variations of strength um, endurance all sorts of different rep ranges and yeah just hit them regularly what's good guys so as you can see built up in the gym today hitting some plate loaded bench press which I haven't done a lot of but I thought I'd do it today because I wanted to hit a bit of um, a bit of weight so go a bit heavier built up to a set of four on I think it was 70k on each side um, felt fine moved on after that to some incline plate loaded press which again felt okay it was gradually increasing the weight hit 40k on each side for one set that felt fine last set fourth set decided that I was going to do a drop set working off the explosive movement so um, I think I had two plates on either side 40k done about maybe 15 reps got to about 15 reps in the last couple I just felt my right upper pec kind of like twinge and then um, I went to push again felt it again wasn't wasn't very pleasant so dropped the weight down, tried to go lighter, just the stretch I could feel was hurting. So decided to sack that off, um, moved on to some shoulders, to some lateral raises. Um, went back and tried some flyers and some press and basically that was it. Game over, chest, chest was not having it, it wasn't happy um, and I didn't want to damage it anymore because it is a lacking body part and the last thing I want to do is take a week, two weeks out because I've fucked it basically, <laughs> excuse the language. So, um, so yeah, made the executive decision to uh, hit some buys and try superset, um, bit of volume. Had to go light again on that because even sort of leaning forward, doing some bicep curls, I could feel my tricep, uh, feel my um, chest, and same again on the triceps. So, all in all, guys, it was a pretty shit day today. Um, woke up, work was. Uh, there's a few things, a few things at work that was frustrating today. Um, then throughout the whole day as well, obviously trying to eat my meals. I had the filling yesterday, which anything I ate on that side, I could feel like a sharp sort of nervy pain. So I booked in to go to the emergency dentist. Even brushing my teeth, to be fair, last night I could feel it. Booked in to go for an appointment, and they said that apparently that's to be expected because it was a deep filling. Blah blah blah. Um, if it doesn't get any better within seven to ten days, then come back. So I'm like, brilliant. Um, even having my protein shake sometimes, I can feel that. So hopefully the pain will start to ease off. Um, but that was obviously frustrating because <laughs> not enjoying chicken and bloody stir fry veg at the best of times, let alone when you've got a dodgy tooth. Um, so yeah, frustrating day all in all, guys. But you know what? I'm just going to go to bed now. Um, wake up tomorrow's a new day um, and yeah I'm, uh, I'm gonna treat it so forget about today move on and uh, and have a better day tomorrow so good night again I want to thank you all for watching my videos and for your support I'm getting a lot of comments at, um, lately now sort of uploading a bit more regularly um, some likes some shares and uh, I just want to say that I appreciate that and um, and keep it up guys because uh, the videos will keep coming. See you in the next one.